Hey everybody, I'm here today with a very simplistic driving video tutorial and the topic of this video will be the following. The topic will be slowing down a car like a pro and these will be easy driving steps once again just to finalize for my own self and for you all to know what you're about to watch. The topic of this video will be the following. I will be showing you and telling you, I will be showing you and telling you both of those things about the process for slowing down a car like a pro and these will be easy driving steps so easy driving steps towards slowing down a car like a professional driver let's get into this sorry about that long intro but we're going to go ahead and i'm going to sort of tell you what you got to do and then show you and i'm going to try and keep this video short and sweet i don't want it to be too long so essentially the first thing is you want to scout ahead you don't want to be slowing down at the last second you want to scout ahead and know that you have to slow down relatively soon um relatively early on so basically scout ahead as in look ahead you want to look minimum minimum 10 cars in front of you but probably a lot more but absolute minimum 10 cars in front of you and you want to look for brake lights you want to look for general slowing down you want to look for swerving anything that will sort of let you know that you need to slow down your car so looking ahead is the first aspect of slowing down like a pro the second aspect is going off the gas so you want to ease off the gas you don't want to immediately have to brake and if you're scouting ahead you won't have to brake immediately you'll you'll have time to ease off the gas and then work your way to the brake which brings me to the third step, which would be brake lightly. So, like I said, um, you, there are there are times even when 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 I'm driving, when I'm scouting ahead, and people just slam their brakes, and you're gonna have to brake aggressively to not get into an accident. But generally speaking, as a rule of thumb, if you're braking aggressively all the time, it's probably your fault and not theirs. So, brake lightly is the third step. And if you're scouting ahead and planning ahead and anticipating, you should be okay to do that. Okay. Um, basically, number four, <laughs> I have my notes over here, and I was writing these notes quickly. And I can't even read. Oh, that's a break estimation. Step number four is you need to estimate how much you need to push down on the brake pedal. And if you're always braking too much or too little, my advice is to go to an empty parking lot and just practice braking before certain lines in the parking lot. So hit a speed like 10 kilometers an hour and practice braking before this line. Then at 15 kilometers an hour, try braking before this line. And keep practicing, you'll get better and better at estimating your braking distance. And lastly, number five is um, go and hit the slower speed. If you're gonna coast at a slower speed, let's say the speed limit goes from 60 kilometers an hour to 40 kilometers an hour, you're gonna have to slow down before that speed limit um, change so you know you want to hit the slower speed and maintain it or come to a stop if that's the case so let's uh, let's actually demonstrate this i'm on a side street in my area and i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to drive i've tried to choose the they're all calm i live in very luckily I, we got in a, into an area which is very very calm but this is like the calmest of the side streets because it it is a it's like a court it's like a dead end street um it also means that i don't really know many of the neighbors here i actually know one of the people one of the neighbors that lives here but the rest i don't know so they might be giving me weird looks as to why i'm driving up and down the street but we'll deal with that later i'll go explain to them that i'm a neighbor anyways um yeah so we're driving i'm driving at a certain speed over here and i'm scouting ahead let's say i want to slow down right i'm scouting ahead i've eased off the gas i'm starting to brake lightly and i'm estimating my braking distance and now i'm going to continue braking lightly and i'm going to come to a stop right over here i want to come to a stop right over here okay that's slowing down um like a pro slowing down your car like a pro while driving this is the neighbor that i know but i don't think they're home there's a car there but i don't it doesn't look like anybody's home who knows anyways um that's coming to a stop the other aspect is slowing down to continue driving so i'm just going to loop around over here there's another guy here or, or, or girl, another person who has like seven or eight cars in the driveway and they're all like, you know, older, like this is an old Audi in the driveway, an old Audi A4 looks like. Um, there's actually an old Subaru. There's an old Civic that's been taken apart. So like, I think they work on cars there. So I got to go talk to them one day when I'm walking by with my kids. I'm going to show them like the cars and maybe go talk to them, see if they'll give my kids like a tour of the cars that they're working on. Cause it seems, my kids would like it. They seem kind of cool. Uh, it seems like they'd be, they'd be kind of cool to, sh to show them all the stuff. And I want see myself to be honest with you it's probably more of an excuse to say like hey my kids are interested in seeing all your cars but meanwhile i want to see them anyways um i'm going to show you how to slow down now while you continue driving so i'm driving i'm going to pick up a little bit of speed i'm scouting ahead ease off the gas start to brake i'm lowering my speed and then now i'm easing off the brake and i'm driving at a lower speed okay i'll show you one more time coming to a stop sign over here so from this stop sign, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna accelerate. I'll hit a higher speed, sort of, that, uh, that I'm gonna slow down to. So I'm gonna hit a higher speed, 
Let me move this paper over here. I'm at 40 kilometers an hour, which is the speed limit here anyways. And I'm gonna uh, scout ahead and I'm going to ease off the gas and I'm gonna hover over the brake. I'm gonna hit 25 kilometers an hour. Once I hit my goal of 25 clicks an hour, I'm gonna ease off and I'm gonna continue gassing it at that slower speed, 25 kilometers an hour. That's it. So essentially, those are the steps towards um, slowing down a car like a pro. It's fairly easy to do. And I'll show you one more time because I'm gonna drive back to that location over there because that's where I've been doing my filming because it's the quietest part of the neighborhood essentially. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm gonna turn around. Garage sale? What? Oh, maybe they had a garage sale or they're preparing. You know what? I gotta go talk to them because uh, they look, you know, when I see garage sales, I always look for things that would show that people would be, you know, maybe in the 30s, 40s, right? I look for like, there's a stroller on the, on the, on the, uh, on the porch, which means I'm assuming they could be in their late 20s to early 40s, give or take. And that means they might have video games. And I'm a video game collector and I always look for video games at garage sales. Believe it or not, I have yet to find any deals on video games at garage sales. And I've probably been to like a hundred over the years, but I'm always looking. So anyways, I'm driving at a higher speed. 38 kilometers an hour. Uh, I'm scouting ahead, I eased off the gas. I'm gonna go ahead and gently push the brake till I get to about 30 kilometers an hour. And now I'm gonna coast at 30. And that's how I've slowed down, okay? And now I'm gonna come to a stop because there's a stop sign over here. Um, anyways, that is essentially it. Sorry, I just noticed another hard house is for lease. I'm gonna go check it. I'm just curious, I like to know what's going on with regards to sales and rentals in the area and stuff like that what the selling price is and the renting price and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, that's besides the point. This has been a driving lesson with easy driving steps on slowing down a car like a pro. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you like the fact that I'm now giving driving lessons again uh, on my videos. I stopped for a while because I ran out of ideas, but I came up with a whole bunch of ideas now. So I'm ready to start again, at least incorporating them so regularly into my content schedule. Anyways, if you like this video driving tutorial, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.